So hey guys, it's your boy King Cayenne, and we're going to try to do this really, really quickly. Um, so, what are we looking for when we run these teams? Now, you could run Sealy, you could run Yoon in this team. The reason why we run Bedivere alongside Kaiser is because Kaiser has Taunt and the Dodge Rate, and Bedivere has Armor and Dodge Rate. So that's why I run these two, and I don't throw in Yoon or, or Sealy. Sealy doesn't output enough, Yoon is all over the place. So sometimes Yoon will be getting armor stack, uh, an armor buff, but, but sometimes he just won't be anywhere um, useful for us. So key ingredients for this team. Now, it probably comes in pairs. So you could run double silence behind this team. And if you ran double silence behind this team, what you would find is... You're stopping the enemy from having skill attacks. So your team has more sustain. Then you would only need to add in a damager. So you could add in Krabby for this team. Because Krabby is like magic pen for Medea and Kaiser. And then Krabby would just output. So Krabby is the free Teresa if you don't know. that And Krabby would just output insane. Um, you could run Bedivere if you had a Bedivere. And have just like kind of hybrid magic uh, physical team. I would say running a mid row really hurts this team. You want to run someone in the back row. So Pandarus is good. Um, Mero would be good in this team. If you add someone into your mid row, you add someone else who can get killed. So because all the skills damage that other teams are going to do is probably going to hit your tanks and your mid row. So having someone who outputs damage in the back is a really nice touch uh, when you think about this team. Now, the other way I'd run this team is to run this team with a speed up and protection. So, Aurora speed up, Aerial's protection. Um, just gives these two tanks more survivability. Uh, Bedivere has more chance to get into the smite. And then again, I'm running someone in my back row. So this team is like a 2-2-1 two, two, formation. Um, you could run a third tank to try to get more dodge and then just have this protection and the speed up boost and then buffs going on so like Norman is, is a hero that I really like in this kind of dodge team because what Norman would do is any crit strikes that Norman receives Norman would then go crazy and when you're getting a speed up buff um, an attack an attack increase attack increase attack increase Norman is going to do really good damage. Um, the other idea would be maybe to run Pierre and York for Norman. Could try to run a York here. But I don't know if York has enough to protect the team For if you replace Ariel. Pierre does for me have enough, but I just don't know if York York can help this team push through but this team is very limited to what you want to do so the other option is to run like a Murphy an Ariel and an Aurora and the idea behind this team is Murphy interrupts Murphy has um, the immunity damage immunity Ariel so it's just more sustain but the damage output is going to be less so you're looking at a team more likened to timeout now how do these teams fight so we didn't see the silence variation of this team fight so we'll go with the silence variation um it's pretty powerful but we'll just see what's happening now you're gonna see where i've dropped aerial that the tanks are taking a lot more damage so because they're taking more damage the silence becomes critical to this team we want Medea getting that web down very quickly. If she, you know, if she doesn't get that web down and get silence in, when Blaine ults or when Kaiser ults, we're going to be in trouble. So, oh, we're going to get a Krabby ult first. This could be good. Blaine ult, more silence. interrupt and you can just see we whittle down the team very easily but it's just a variation and it's the key thing variations um 
Sometimes the most unlikely heroes do fit just because of what they do. Boom, win. And you're going to see, like, the damage is not massive. It's not massive damage at all. It's, it's probably going to be at a max, like, 700k damage. Yeah, 650, 632. And you see here, Bedivere is not a damage tank. Kaiser is not a damage tank. Blaine doesn't really output damage. We just most, we just stopped the skill. So we stopped uh, Coco doing her armor dropped. Um, stopped this aerial from doing the, is it the free pronged? I know the shield is, is unsilenceable. Um, and this Aurora wasn't speeding up. This Lucifer is, is always going to do damage. This West is always going to do a bit of damage. But, and it works. Now, against a Smoke, this team is not likely to work. Just because of what Smoke does. Uh, so if we were to fight, let's say, GRK. If we were to fight here, we would see that this team, what this team is designed to do here is this smoke is for is more for creating one-on-one -on -one situations so uh five on one sorry situations so if we, if we fight this team and we can see like how we kept the, the enemy team pretty much concealed in a set space this team go this team starts straight off the bat it it pushes against us so it's going to push our tanks all over the place force them into smoke so we see here smoke comes and smoke is straight at belly now we got one tank and these heroes here are open to this west so this west is going to come straight at us we got no medea she's gone blaine is gone now kaiser's gone and it's why you want like i, I made this team look probably really bad the other day um but this is why this team is so well built. It's a it's a lone dog cross kung fu team, and it's insane. Now I don't think. Oh, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna get it. Krabby's gonna clean, and that's what Krabby does. Krabby is a clean up job. Um, the free Teresa. So we got the win. Um, didn't expect it, but you can see here, no damage at all. And it's all on Krabby to do everything. So I would say that was more of a lucky win. Krabby just didn't go down when he was supposed to go down. Um, so we got the win. But that's just that's just what this team does. It's the tanks are there to armor stack, dodge stack, silence to to try and keep the skills off us, um, and then a cleanup job. So guys, that's it. Um, if you want more expansion, I can do like a breakdown on Kaiser or, or a breakdown on Bedivere. I just think that when I break down, let's say, a hero in a team build, it, it just gets a bit too long. Uh, guys, I hope this helps you build uh, some dodge teams, gives you something else to think about when you're building. Heroes, uh, I, I forgot to mention heroes that you can use. Heroes that you can use pretty much come from Betty Bear's group and there's two that I think are vital Lee is absolutely massive if you can get a Lee into this team Lee will output damage for you um, the other one comes from actually they're not both in Righteous Partner oh, I like Norman um, the other one comes from Kaiser's group Leon now Leon if Betty Bear is stacking passives onto Leon Leon becomes a bigger animal, especially with Kaiser giving an extra dodge um, and this magic resistance. You would find that this team walks over magic teams. So I fight the physical teams I, because I wanted someone to fight physical teams. But this team is really good, especially that silence variation of the team is really good against magic teams. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is it. Um, I can't show off the, the Leon or I can't show off the Lee because we don't have them. Um, but there's others who I've seen like run Betty Bear and Lee together. Um, and it works. It really works for him. Lee is a hero that I say everyone should have. Just because of what he can do. Especially with the groups he's in. 
uh, Kung Fu Group, Righteous Partner, you know, the, these ones don't have, but the Righteous Partner Group is a good group because you've got Bedivere, you've got Ariel, uh, Aurora, you've got Brynhild, you've got Pierre. Kung Fu is good because obviously it's Armor Pen, you know, and there's some big hitters in here. So adding him, a big hitter, into there is massive. And some of it is just his skills. So he has knock up. Uh, choose the target until this deals physical damage to target and surround enemies. That is a splitter is a big skill for for Luke uh, for Lee. Um, he has his own sleep mechanism, so you don't really have to worry about throwing in someone for a sleep. And then ultimate revival regions HP for himself when dealing damage to enemies in a sleep state. And then phase bulwark. If an enemy unit enters a sleep state, any damage taken by Lee in the next four seconds will be lowered. This effect will not be triggered again for a short period of time. And lastly, Demon Bullet. After hitting a target, sleeping pill will ricochet to a nearby enemy, putting that enemy to sleep. If already asleep, then he or she will take more nightmare damage. And as you can see, he has the agility skill. And just at this level, what's his dodge? It's it's pretty much gonna be high. So yeah guys. Um I hope it helps. I really hope it helps you in just thinking about other combos, uh, maybe another Hero Brawl team. You know, if you're finding that maybe you've got like two really strong teams, but you just need something that has a chance of timeout or a chance of a late kill. Guys, it's your boy King Kayan. I'll see you on the next one.